Hey everybody and welcome back to another one of my scum tips and tricks video. So today I'm going to show you an updated technique that I tend to use whenever I'm raiding a base or a point of interest. So here I am outside the um, factory at B1. I'll just show you quickly where it is on the map. There I am. So I'm standing outside of this place here. And this is a technique I'll use anywhere. The airports, the naval base, the prison, the huge bunker here in C2. Um, anywhere. This is something I tend to do most of the time. So... What is it I do? Well, let's have a look at what I'm carrying at the moment. As you can see, I'm carrying a whole bunch of stuff which isn't really that useful on its own, let's say, but I want to keep it. Um, so I don't want to run into this place and find that I really don't have any inventory slots left, which I really don't at the moment. I've got, what, five or six there, seven or eight. Uh, that's not enough. So what do I do? Well, let's just run over here because first things first, I am going to create a chest, so I need to cut down this tree. Right, and once I've cut down the tree, I'm going to need eight planks. Right, so I've got my planks, so I'm going to create the chest, and I'm going to be creating the medium, is it medium chest? They've got it listed it down here as the intermediary skill chest there we go medium i like to use this because all you need is two bits of scrap because with the base chest you need like a load of rope and nails and you know that's a ton of stuff you don't really want to be bothering with so i've got two bits of scrap on me so i'm going to use them right here so let's just create this okay let's craft it where can i put it right here okay brilliant stuff and there we go Brilliant. That's where we've got it. Now, I've put it here. Usually, I, 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 I will stick my chests. I will hide them sort of, yeah, about this distance from the place I want to raid. I don't want people sort of finding my stuff as soon as they run out. Because sometimes, all right, today I'm going to put a bunch of not particularly great loot. But sometimes I might be triple carrying some really decent gear. And I, I don't want to risk losing it. So you could bury it if you wanted to, but that's just a little too much, I feel. I mean, it's going to be hard to spot this from a distance. Somebody would have to be really lucky. So now we're ready to fill it up with, well, my stuff. But before that, what's the next thing that I'd be doing? Because I used to just leave it like this, fill the box up and run in and do my raid. But that was before the introduction of zombies with suicide vests and I've learned the hard way that you've now got to build in some redundancies into your raiding technique. So what is the next step? Well, we're going to build a bed. Why are we building the bed? Well, that's because in essence, you're building a mobile spot at one point, right? It's not mobile. You just are able to place it anywhere. Let's just do that quickly now. Right. So I've actually prepared some sticks. I've got a couple of sticks here. Yeah, two long sticks. Let's just grab another long stick. This will do. Over here. Uh, let's just quickly run here. Right, okay. So what do I need to craft this? There we go. Improvised bed. I should have everything. I've got some rope. Three sticks, four rags. Okay, let's do that let's craft it again i'm gonna stick it in a in a bush right and there's our bed made so now we've got the spawn point obviously it's all very reliant on the fact that you need enough fame points but now we are completely set up so we can put everything in here that we need and i've already done that actually just before i think i've pretty much got rid of everything that i don't want to take oh oh yes i don't want to take the axe with me so let's just get rid of that um, can I get rid of these nails? Actually, these nails seem to have uh, spazzed out a bit, so... Well, that's the joy of early access in the game. Can't get rid of those. They're, um, they're sticking with me. They're going to be a good luck charm, that's it. So, I've got my spawn point, and I've also got my chest with just my knickknacks in there. So, I'm pretty much ready to raid. What am I taking with me? Let's have a look. Right, so first things first, I've got bandages. Always going to need those. And I've also got a little knife with me in case I need to create more out of my underwear, for example. So it's always good to carry a lot of clothes. Don't bother going in naked. That's ridiculous. But hopefully you'll also find either bandages or, or clothes that you can turn into rags while you're doing the base raid. Anyway, that's your uh, 
first aid taken care of. I'll also take a couple of stones with me in case I want to distract zombies or if I'm feeling a little bit frisky I'll just throw them at the bots see if I can get some more points that way but this is usually for just distracting zombies. Right, weapon wise obviously if I run into real trouble I'm taking my shotgun with me hence all of the bullets here or the shells rather okay and I've also got this Tech 9 with me with no magazine but I've got plenty of bullets I'll be using this as kind of like a in a kind of sniper capacity let's say however ideally I want to keep quiet and usually I will have something like 24 arrows that I've created and I'll be taking this improvised bow with me I like this because a, you stay very quiet, and B, if you need the space, if you've had a particularly good loot run and you found lots of kit, you can just drop this, because you can always just recreate it. So, I always go in, use this a lot, right at the beginning of a raid, and by the end I've probably dropped it halfway through, or at least before I leave anyway, because I need the space. But anyway, I've got the shotguns, I've got the bows, um, the arrows, the bullets, pretty much sorted. There's nothing much else, and we're pretty much ready to go. Oh, however, one last thing I just remembered before I go on the raid. Can you notice the problem here? Yeah, I can. I can't remember where this case is. I'd be I'd be a bit lost. So, final tip. Just do this. Go to crafting and say create this thing here. There we go. We'll put that head on a spike or something. There we go. And there's that. That will stay there until you basically actually create a head on a spike at some point. But there you go. That's it. So it'll be easy to find when you're on your way back. I don't know when it disappears, but you can see it's, you can spot it from a long way off. So we've got a spawn point. We've got a place to stash our loot. We know how to find them, even though technically speaking, we could just press on the map and you know it's kind of there. But this is... You know, this gives you a rough idea of where it is. It's not really for finding the the loot box it's more for you be a, being able to run back in to the uh, the base to continue your raid so that just makes it a lot easier anyway let's get on with the raid so guys that is it as i say for this video hope you found it useful and practical if you did think about leaving a like apparently it helps the channel out i don't know i'm not youtube but anyway stick around watch another video and i'll see you next time but until then my friends this is hip Cal, signing off